Hi, this is uh, Nellie Deutsch, and today I'm going to show you a few guidelines on how you can reflect on both face-to-face -face and online events. I'm going to walk you through it. This is a PowerPoint presentation that I added to Google Drive. I'm using Screencast-O-Matic to add my voice as I go through the slides. This is exactly what you're going to do for the reflective practice. You can use Screencast-O-Matic as uh, indicated right here, or you can simply use Novio. You can use your own voice, or if you like, you can use slide speech where the computer speaks. But in that case, you need to add notes to each of your slides. So let's start with the process. First thing you're going to do is you're going to get a blog so that you can share your final product. You can use Tumblr, Google Blogger, or WordPress, which are all free. Now you're going to respond to each of the 11 items that I'm going to show you in a minute. You're going to create a PowerPoint of your reflections. Now you're going to add images only because you're going to speak through it, but you want to have some visuals. Then you're going to copy and paste the responses to the 11 questions in the notes so that you can read them as you go. You don't have to memorize anything. If you're using slide speech, it's going to speak for you. So you don't need to do any of this. We'll get to that in a second. You upload the PowerPoint presentation to Novio, which is a system that allows you to speak as you go through the slides, like I'm doing right now with Screencast-O-Matic. Or you record your voice, as I am, using Screencast-O-Matic, which is also completely free. If you don't want to add your voice, in many cases, uh, whether you've got a cold or you just don't like your voice, or what for you don't have a record, for whatever reason, you can use the notes. In other words, you create a PowerPoint presentation. You can do this with Word or any other PowerPoint, or you can simply do it directly on Google Drive slides, and you upload the PowerPoint to slide speech. The system will speak the notes. Next, if you're using slide speech, it's automatically uploaded as a video and you can share the mp4 by uploading it to YouTube or Vimeo or any other system. Or if you're using Screencast-O-Matic, you can publish it on YouTube or Vimeo. Or you can keep the mp4 file. You can also edit whatever work you do using Screencast-O-Matic. Next, you embed the video to your blog post, one for each event. Next and final stage is to share the link of the blog with the post, actually, um, that shows all these videos so that uh, you can be. So that's it. So let's go through the questions first, or items, actually. First thing is you give the title, the date of the presentation, the presenter, unless it's you, of course, which is also a good way to learn about your work by reflecting on it course number or name of the course if there is a course and where the presentation took place whether it's online or face to face and a few details about that next you describe the event very briefly and you answer the following questions did you connect with the other attendees or the speaker if so how what questions came up as you watched the event how did the content relate to you as a teacher or learner or individual? What were some of the thoughts that went through your mind as you watched the presentation? Next, how did you feel as you watched the event? This is feelings as opposed to thoughts. If you felt good, what made you feel good? If you felt discomfort, what made you feel discomfort? You can describe the good. If you felt love, if you felt compassion, uh, sympathy and so on, or hate, anger. What challenges might you encounter in implementing some of the ideas? What steps can you take to resolve the challenges? What would you like to do in the future as a result of what you heard, read, or saw? And 11, you write a question or two that you would like to research or look into as a result of the event. And that's it. That's the reflective practice. So 
looking forward to reading, viewing, and learning from your reflective practice.